do you think about my southern realm? I don't come here much anymore. It's lovely. I try to offer a comfortable home to the glorious dead. It helps them accept their fate and keeps them from wandering too far. So when a human wanders and doesn't return, I can't help but take it personally. What am I doing here? When Leonidas was alive, he brought chaos and bloodshed. Hermes spotted him mingling with delinquents recently. We can't have him falling into old habits. If he won't fight with me, then he won't fight at all. Leonidas of Sparta is my grandfather. If you think I'm going to stick a blade in him, you're wrong. Hermes told me why you're really in Elysium. That staff of yours. Cross me and you'll fail. But Leonidas means a lot to you. I understand this will be difficult, which is why I'm willing to make you a deal. What kind of deal? Bring me the body of Leonidas, and I will bring back a departed beloved of your choosing. You can do that? I'm queen of the dead, darling. I can do anything. So, who does Cassandra want back in her life? I want to see Phoebe again. Help me protect Elysium from chaos, and you'll see your loved one again. People want my family dead. Is killing my grandfather worth bringing someone back to life? What are you doing out here? There is something I wanted to ask you. Will you fish with me? This is nice. There are so many things I want to talk about. Talk then. After... Everything you lost at Thermobile, your men, your wife, your children, Sparta, in the end, was it worth it? Who rules the Greek world right now? Greeks. Then my answer is yes. Mother told me of our bloodline and our ancestors. Did you know? Only what my mother told me. We were born from greatness. And we were destined for greatness. The world was divided in two. Those who wanted us dead, and those who would follow us to the gates of Hades. I imagine the spear was in one piece when it was given to you. My mother handed it to me when I was a boy. Said it came with a certain burden. But... You were ready. So peaceful here. I think I got a bite. Get a basket, quickly. My grandfather, I... You are here to kill me. In Sparta, we were trained to spot predators. Long before they bounced. I need Persephone's approval, but she sees you as a threat. If I don't take care of that threat... Why not bring her the head of a greater threat? Who's a greater threat than you? Actually, there is someone. 
A spy. I delivered him to Persephone as a bodyguard, but he's working against her from the inside. I am only a threat to her soldiers on the battlefield. A spy threatens the heart of Elysium. Bring her his corpse, and she should be satisfied. Thank you, Grandfather. We should go fishing more often. Kiros alive, she can deal with the traitor herself. spotted here. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Let's move! Kiros of Zarax? This isn't who I asked for. He's a spy working for the Rebellion. But you're the one who first brought him to me. I didn't know his intentions. I trusted you. Guards! Persephone, listen to me. Hermes is right. Trouble's brewing in Elysium. Even though Leonidas is against you, you are much stronger than he is. But Kiros was an enemy you couldn't see. That made him far more dangerous to you and Elysium. But he's still breathing. Death is a gift traitors don't deserve. I thought you'd want to deal with him yourself. Defying me comes at a cost. Our deal is off. But for bringing me this vile deceiver, you may stay. Figure out that mysterious little staff of yours.
never wanted this. I only turned this world into paradise to make it bearable. And then you arrived and made me blossom. Please, just let me go. If you truly wanted to leave, you'd have already done it. Or have you forgotten? I wonder if Aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were. Not having second thoughts, are you? She's right. I am a coward. She gave me the chance to leave once. All I had to do was fight, and I couldn't. I'm sorry, I can't do this. It's too big. Adonis, I want you to close your eyes and imagine Aphrodite. Don't let Persephone make you forget why you're fighting. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us forget the ones we love. Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes' inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause. spotted here. Thank <laughs> you. 
something's in the way. Won't budge. Something's blocking this.
When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it stand. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Persephone? I was looking for a Kati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. A Kati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the Meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. Looks like this is my chance to find out what the cut is up to, too. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
There she is. I was wondering when you would arrive, Locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Ekati. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Cassandra about the key to the Underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's collar. Why would I want her running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that! I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Cassandra has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Hermes. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. Enough. I want answers. Keeper! Not many humans could catch me off guard. But still doesn't matter now. Only speed. Malaka! If she gets to Persephone first, who knows what she'll tell her. So you were the one I couldn't trust. 
Ekati has told me all about your treachery, including your breaking into my sanctuary. I couldn't have gotten in if Ekati hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes! To steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Cassandra destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Ekati. I know who was behind Lethe's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. I may be working against Persephone, but you've been helping me the entire time. There! Out of your own mouth! You're trying to overthrow me! You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her! The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes. No one was hurt, but Aconite was found in the wine. Your signature death sentence, if I recall correctly. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the Follower's Symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the Underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Ekati has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Ekati's right. I'd have to be out of my mind to take your word over hers. Nothing's been paradise since you dropped in. You are no longer welcome in my palace. We've received word those delinquents in Defhelion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Adonis's troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know. <laughs> 